we've introduced a thing called the Schools Quality Index, where we do an assessment on all schools around the country to see how they score against um, five main criteria, which is the number of matches they play, um, the number of teams they have, uh, the level of coaching they have at the schools, um, the facilities they have, and what is their representation like? like are they, are they, you know, um, displaying the demographics of our country? You know, so uh, so those are the four, five things. And then coming back to the blue chip schools initiative, it's really um, looking at how can we get the last group of schools, the traditional schools, that has got all the resources. How can we get them to assist us? in driving our objectives as, as, as Cricket South Africa and as a Cricket Services Department. And that's how we got it. So we've really designed the blue chip status around the fact that you can only achieve the blue chip status if you have ticked every one of those five criteria. So you can be strong in four of them, but in one of them not be strong enough and, and you won't make the blue chip status. So you really got to be good in all of those. And, and luckily we have schools like that in our country. You know, today, Already we have um, two schools playing here, Weinberg um, High School and also Ronnebosch. And the one has been awarded the blue chip status, which is Ronnebosch, and the other one not. And, and, and it's interesting that the difference is the qualification of the first, first team coach, um, which just shows that the importance of every element of, of, of the school's quality index. The cricketers that play for the Proteas are majority, they come from about 42 schools, um, which is a great program. Um, I'll say it and I'll take people on. It's one of the best schools programs in the world, but it's also a risk because it's so small. So we have to grow it on the one hand, but we also have to try and help them to do their business better. You know, if they ha they've got to have level three coaches, they've got to have proper fields, they've got to have side screens and ropes around the field and scoreboards. Um, they've got to play enough matches and I think that for me is, a, is an important one. Um, cricket is the one game where you have to, the more, the, the more you play, the better you get. Because cricket is basically a game that's based on failure, because you fail a lot. You can bowl a lot of wides and half volleys and bowl a Jaffa and then get a wicket or you can get the first ball a, or a couple and then you get a 50 and whatever. So, and I think the, the problem of many of our areas, we don't play enough matches. That's why we say on the school's quality index, we, we work towards 25 matches minimum uh, a season to achieve the highest marks. Um, but I think it's just a way to encourage people to do to, to, to the way we do the cricket business to do it better. There's a, quite a good cash incentive and, and we've used also the Coca-Cola T20 schools um, uh, challenge as a way to incentivize schools. So we're not saying we're excluding you if you're not a blue chip school, but we are saying that if you're a blue chip school and you're playing in this T20 Challenge and as you progress in the challenge, we are going to incentivize you if you're a blue chip school. So um, the winner would, for example, of this challenge would normally get 120,000 Rand a year um, or it, if they get the title. And we will then say, we're, we're going to give you a 50% extra. We're going to give you an additional 60% if you are a blue chip school. That's the one proper cash advantage, I suppose. And then there's other advantages, in our opinion, and that is that a school can say that they are a CSA accredited blue chip school. I'm sure that that would be good for them to attract pupils to their school, uh, schools. It's also good to go to a third party and say, invest in my school because I actually tick all the boxes in terms of providing an environment for a player to develop. Um, the other one is, 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 is to make sure that um, CSA when it awards um, their bursary programs, the M2E, which is the Momentum uh, um, Schools Program, bursary program, the Sunfoil Education Trust, which is also a bursary program, it then makes it easier for, for Cricket South Africa to say, right, these are blue chip schools, we know everything's in order there, we know they're helping us in our objectives, so therefore we would like to see you go to those schools.